Hey all, time for another unboxing. And today it's one of the high grade Universal Century 1 to 140 foot scale kits. Uh, this kit is, uh, as far as I know, uh, from the Gundam Unicorn line. Uh, and in this kit you get one of the grunt suits from that series. And, well, I got it cheap from Hobby Link Japan because it was on sale. But also, I quite like the look of it. I've seen a review of it. I'm not really sure by who anymore. I think too old for toys, but I'm not sure anymore. Anyway, um, this kit uh, actually has two kits in it. Because you get the same kit twice. Uh, of course, uh, with the twin in the name, uh, it's a good hint of it. Box art is decent and it actually shows uh, the capability of this kit to transform into a tank form. Which I quite like, uh, that's not very common. Uh, in fact, I don't actually know any Gundam kits otherwise that actually transform into a tank. I know there's the gun tank, but that doesn't transform. But another Gundam which actually transforms into a tank. I don't actually know one. Uh, let's see for the box. Here you see both modes, front and back. Looking quite impressive. Something about the series. Something about the size and... Mm, here's also a detail. They're only 12.2 meters tall. So if it's in scale to the unicorn, which is over 19 meters tall, these are going to be pretty small kits. Number 106 in the line of high grade Universal Sentry. Uh, some of uh, the details and the transformation. Uh, alternate weaponry. You get optional weapons for them, uh, which is either these big cannons or this big shoulder cannon. I think I'll go with big cannons because, yeah, well, that's what I like big guns. Normal price 1600 yen. So let's see what's inside here. Pretty much everything here is double. So here we have two A plates which are identical so you get one here and on the rear you get another one pretty much identical uh, there are actually four colors on it and no transparent parts no, not a single transparent piece I uh, see some stickers here and well there isn't much actually in terms of stickers I see four white stickers and uh, a few tiny orange ones. That's about it. I think for the visors and camera. And that's about it. Not much. A lot of material. And then you get two bags with identical uh, identical plates in them. A B plate and a C plate for each of the kits. Uh, there are no polycaps for this kit, not too surprising. It's all pretty earthly colors, but pretty much if you're uh, a builder who actually normally builds like uh, model tanks and military vehicles and you want to try your hand at Gundam, this is actually a very good kit because it pretty much transitions between those and the Gundams because of the way this looks. Then there's the manual. Similar art as on the boxes. Very nice. Uh, lots of information of what they have. Uh, titanium made and ceramic Composites, uh, let's see, armaments, beam burner, machine cannon, 
Missile container, long cannon, mega machine cannon. Very epic sounding. Yeah, the tank mode is somewhat on the uh -huh side and the way it transforms there is no real secret to it. Because pretty much you see how, how he folds up to actually become this mode. I'm actually curious to see how he'll be when finished, how big they actually will be. But uh, you'll see that when I finish these. Uh, I'm not exactly sure if I'll leave them in this color. I might actually consider giving a complete paint over uh, to this kit. Hmm, there is something about these fingers. I'm not really sure what this is. Something from the series. Nice poses, the weaponry. Something more. Don't really see anything about pilots, but mm, that's not too strange. Uh, perhaps here is something about the pilot. Yeah, it's really a grunt suit. Something about other stuff uh, related to it. And nothing too unfamiliar there. Uh, perhaps this is no uh, no way that this is in scale because I know what a giant this one is so this is no way in scale shown so uh, some back art cover oh, there's actually more movement in this kit than I'd expect oh, yeah here you can see pretty much everything where the orange stickers are going so yeah, it's just for the face. Uh, I think the white stickers are here for in the chest. Let's see the building itself. Nothing too special about it. Yeah, all plates are present, and otherwise, uh, well. Just a simple build and at the end uh, just an explanation for the special weaponry and how to transform them. I think this is going to be quite an entertaining build for myself. Um, it's a very unusual build. And this is what, the, till date, the only grunt types or enemy types which I've built are SD kits. So, uh, oh. No, no, no. Uh, I've built Masrao, which also counts for that. But mm, that's nothing like this. Still, despite me finally buying something like this, I'm still not going to buy a Zaku. Sorry. Thank you all for watching. See you next time.